<laughs> Yo, what up guys and welcome back to another one. Oh Yes, yes, yes today 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 another solo dove hunt This is gonna be the second one we've done you guys absolutely love the first one So today that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the 12 gauge We're gonna head back to the same bailed field, but today the catch is is I'm gonna show you guys how I'm leading the bird, how far away the bird is, as in yardage. That's one of the biggest questions that has been consecutively asked here on the channel, especially on the dove hunts, is Bobby, I need some shooting help. You know, leading the bird, how far away the bird is, what type of shells I'm using, what type of choke, so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is each shot that I take, each bird that I down, in a nutshell, I'm gonna provide some information. I'm gonna tell you guys, that was a 40 yard shot. I had to lead it this far. That was a 20 yard shot. I had to lead it or didn't lead it this far. You get what I'm saying? This video, I'm doing it because I want it to be helpful for you guys. You guys have been requesting shooting help. I'm not the best shot out there, even though I can catch a fallen duck. I'm still not the best shot out there, and I don't claim to be. But I think that I can help a lot of you guys out there. So all my beginner shotgun shooters, all my beginner duck hunters, all my beginner shotgun hunters in general, this is for you. This should be a great tip video for you guys. But real quick, check out the olive shirt and the olive hats. Still got them in stock. We also added a sick olive hoodie that matches this. I'll link it down below. Go check all the olive gear out. Let's get on the road. I'm done talking. It's about... Mm, 620 so we have about 23 minutes till shooting light oh yes so check it out yeah like I was saying I really wanted a topper so I got one finally I got a topper it's so nice yeah call me grandpa call me dad it is what it is the thing is useful but today I want to kick it off this is the ammunition we're gonna be using today Fiaci two and three quarter one ounce seven and a half shot really good load I've been liking it well we are sat down. I'll show you where I'm at here. So I sat in the middle of the field. So you can see the sun coming up over the over the train. Right on the edge. Right on the edge of the cut field. But they moved all the bells off to the side of the field. And right over here is where I sat. And there was some water down there and it looks like it's pretty dry. We're going to do a quick set here if we need to move back where we originally were. But you guys have been asking what type of choke I use. For Dove, I like to run my Carlson mid-range cremator. My full choke is also a Carlson full cremator. They, they actually call it the extended range and this is the mid-range. They don't, they don't call them modified or fulls. I found out real quick that with Dove, they're small, they're fast, and the mid-range is perfect for seven and a half shot. You can really bust them pretty darn good. Well, we got you on the old GoPro here. <laughs> it didn't take long. I already ended up moving down here to the end of the field where we were last time. All the water's dried up, like I said, but the flight line is right here still. That's where I already seen a couple groups fly over, so we should be good. We should be under the flight line. Let's roll. There we go. Get in here, man. First one of the day. Get over here. There we go. There we go. First bird down. Yeah, buddy. Oh man, I love duck hunting so much. Ah, oh, it's so much fun. Yep, got you, buddy. Woo! There we go. First one of the day. We were on the board. I was afraid because this field had all you know all the bells been moved out. I was like, man, and this water being dry, I was me. I was really, really worried that we may not get a hunt out of it, but been seeing good numbers of birds flying, so it should be decent. Here's one coming in. Oh, 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 he landed. Well, let's get him up. Oh, missed him. He landed way out there, darn it. I let him get up, but I just wasn't a good enough shot at that distance, I guess. Ooh, got some pigeons, four pack of pigeons checking us out, boys. Oh, they see the mojo, oh my goodness. Get down, come on. I pulled him way over here. Oh yeah, oh there's a dove landing on the mojo. I gotta wait because I have pigeons here. Where'd they go? Oh, here they are. Here they are. Oh, got two of them, baby. Yeah, got some pigeons today, boys. Oh, we got more coming. Nice, we got pigeons. 
Yeah, buddy. I can't believe I pulled them over here. They have a fly line way up, like literally a half a mile, a mile that way. And they sucked over here to the mojo. That was awesome. Picked out two of them, boys. Let's see if we can draw some more over here. That was sweet. I found my second shot, which was right here. I don't know where the first shot, where the first uh, pigeon fell. I cannot find it. I'm gonna have to wait for the sun to come up a little more so it's not blinding me because I guarantee it's over here somewhere. I just can't find it. Gonna have to do a lot of walking, but those pigeons pulled over perfect. Ooh, just had two dive over me. Come back. Oh, they're coming back. They're coming back. Ooh, they landed. Well, let's see if we can go spook them up again. Ooh, got him. That was a far shot. Boom. Got him. Oh, now he did. He got up again, darn it. Well, hopefully he's down for the count now. Where are you at, dude? There he is. Oh, you little punk. Got him. Well, we got one out of that pair there. That was a uh, heck of a far shot. Uh, little scoundrel. I don't know, that was probably every bit of a 40, 45 yarder. I let him. He was going into the wind, so he was a little slower. That's the thing is, when they're going with the wind, you wanna lead them a little bit more. So in that case, I put my bead about probably six inches in front of him. He was flying into the wind, so he was a little slower. If he would have been going with the wind, probably would have led him about a foot at 40 yards. I hope that helps you guys out. Well, we're, we got two pigeons on the ground. I still gotta find one and two dove, not doing too bad. Tell you one thing guys if you don't dove hunt you need to get out and try it uh, if you duck hunt and goose hunt for some weird reason you don't dove hunt you really need to get out and try it it's a lot easier than ducking and goose hunting let me tell you what you literally to scout you drive around and you look at power lines that's your one telltale sign if uh if you got a cut field and there's doves stacked up around it on power lines you got you a field to hunt and literally all you know all i do i bring out my bucket i sit on my bucket and one mojo it's simple it's simple to do solo hunts guys so if you've never solo dove hunted maybe you're a dove hunter but you've just never solo dove hunted get out there and do it it's just as rewarding as duck hunting duck hunting you guys seen on the last video on the public video it was uh it's hard you got to walk in a long ways you got to carry decoys and a bunch of stuff and you're in waders here we got one coming Come on, get over this way. Their fly line's a little bit right of me yet. Ah, I don't want to shoot them over this grass too bad. I won't find them. Nope, just dropped one out back here. Didn't even see him come in, looked up and he was there. Hopefully I can find him. I got a bead on him. Ah, there we go. There he is. Nice. Well, another one on the board, fellas and gals. Ooh, what do we got going here, boys? We got a like a five pack. Here we go, here we go. He down. Grab shells, grab shells, grab shells. We got them working. We got them working. Ooh, three of them out front. They came out of them trees like a son of a gun. That last bird I downed there, it was a pretty far shot. About a 30, 35 yarder. My first shot I missed on him. And then uh, what I had to do, I just had to lead them a little bit more. So the first shot, I'll usually put it on their beak. If it ain't getting it done, I'm going to move forward towards, you know, the second and third shot. I'm going to I'm going to lead them a little bit more because these dove are fast. You really got to remember these dove are fast. So first shot, I usually put it on the head. If I just feather their butt off, I'm going to move forward. So that's kind of my trick of the trade. Start at the head. If you feather the, bu the butt off or if you blow some feathers off a little bit, move forward. Come on, get in here, get in here, get in here. Turn. Ah, oh, they're landing way out in the field. Well, a little mid-morning update. Here it is, 8.30, so time is ticking. And man, I just haven't seen the amount of dove here in this field as last time. Last time, we had some sheet water in front of us, so we had a little drink, and we had a bunch of bells in here. Since then, We've had a lot of cool weather that's pushed the doves south. And uh, I just don't think we're holding as many now. Uh, I just don't see them as much. The power lines around the Milo field and the cut corn field and this field, 
they're just not full like they were there's hardly any dove on them at all so if you guys like this solo hunt still the pigeon the dove drop me a big old thumbs up and if you appreciate the uh, shooting accuracy tips during this video also give me a thumbs up and let me know down below because uh, I just thought it was a good idea. It has slowed down. I haven't popped a shot off probably in 45 minutes to an hour. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pack up. We're gonna get off this field. I'm gonna go check out the cornfield about a mile away and look at some uh, power lines on the way over there. We're gonna move fields. Oh boy, I'm a sweating unit. We made it to the cornfield about a mile away from the other field. Rolled up here and seen some dove rolling over the field, but still have yet to see any. I just got sat down. The wind has picked up a lot. This corn is loud behind me, if you can't tell. But a little bit of morning left. Oh, here's single, single. First single on the cornfield, and I whiffed him. Here we go, single coming in. Yeah! There we go. First bird down at the cornfield, dang it. Woo! He came in perfect. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Well, I think that's number five or six. I'll have to count here. Well, first bird down at the cornfield, finally. Uh, check it out. He came spilling over that tree row over there and was just had his wings folded back the entire time. Came between those two trees right there and then just came wings folded back the whole time all the way up to here bam those are the kinds of shots you really like when they get a foot two foot off the ground they got their wings back and when they start backpedaling two foot foot off the ground that's when you smoke them so i'm going to keep up the the shooting tips here may not be much shooting going on but still having a good time out here i hope you guys are enjoying so honestly guys, I think uh, one big tip always, I think my, the biggest tip on, on shooting and accuracy, don't get antsy to pull the trigger. I think um, a lot of us will get antsy and I used to get uh, really, really antsy and I still do, especially on those hunts where there's uh, big groups of ducks and geese and pigeons and whatever. On big groups, it's easy to get antsy and it's easy to let that trigger finger just pull when you really don't want it to. I guess what I'm saying is wait till the shot's right. If you can't get a good shot off, don't pull the trigger because if you know it's not a good shot, you're probably going to miss. So uh, I think most of all, just get used to finding that comfort spot to when, when you know that bead is in front of that bird at the right point and the right time, just get used to trusting your instinct to pull that trigger. I know that sounds really detailed and, and all kinds of crazy, but it's really not just uh, acquire more patience. The more you make yourself be more patient pulling that trigger, the more accurate you're gonna be. I can guarantee you, I, I, I really do promise you that fact. Here we go, here's one. First one in the field in a long time. He ain't even gonna come check out my decoy. Where are you going, man? Wrong way. Here comes one right here. Same deal, came through the trees. Oh, got him right before he landed. He dead. That boy, that boy right there dead, boy. Yeah, same deal, buzzing through these trees, same exact thing as the last bird. I was getting ready to pick up, but now I might wait it out just a hair longer. But like I said, shooting wise, same deal. He, uh, he died right where the last guy did, so uh, might try it a little bit more here. That was pretty consistent. There's one coming through the trees again. Same deal. Woo! That boy dead too. It's a lot easier. That wind slows them down. It lets your shot, let them get a little closer. They're a little slower. They're not as fast because they are fighting that wind, flying into it. So, yay! Oh, well, it is 1041. And yeah, it slowed to a grueling, slow, slow pace. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys really enjoyed the accuracy tips. My number one tip would be, is learn to be patient with your trigger finger. A lot of times, if a bird is just coming in at a weird angle or coming straight at you, let it go over you, smack it in the butt. And other times, if it's coming too fast at you, you gotta wait, you gotta wait to pull that trigger because like you've seen today, most of my birds 
I got on the first shot. There was only a couple of them that I downed on the second shot due to them being so far out there. I just let them keep coming, keep coming, until that one little bit that I was comfortable and my bead was right where I wanted it to be. So again, biggest tip of the day, acquiring patience with the old trigger finger. But we didn't limit out. This is what we did today. Yeah, we got seven dove and a bonus pigeon. But not a bad solo day. If you guys like these solo hunts, you know what to do. Drop me a big old thumbs up. And if you guys have any ideas, hunts like this, solo hunts, dove hunts, any other cool, funny, exciting, different ideas that you want me to do for videos, drop a comment down below and let me know. I really, really, really appreciate all of your guys' suggestions for videos. I don't think you guys understand how many of your guys' ideas I actually use. So, thank you guys. I really appreciate that a lot. But if you guys want to help support the channel and help me keep doing these hunts for you guys and doing these videos for you, go down in the description below, click on the Ducks Waterfowl link and pick you up something from Ducks. All of your purchases go directly to helping me keep doing this stuff. And believe me, I love it. So thank you guys. We'll see you on the next one. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace. Thank you. You can't sip whiskey, gotta drink it. Push it up the team.